What's good, y'all? Looking for Corey Brown or Big Jameer. Clap it up at late time. No line, no shine, y'all. Y'all know what it is, man. About to chop this good game, give some good game. What's good with everybody coming up in here? I'm looking for uh, Corey Brown and Big Jameer. Corey Brown and Big Jameer, where y'all at, man? Appreciate everybody coming in. Corey Brown and Big Jameer, man. Y'all step up in here. What's good with you, Corey Brown? I see you. I'm going to invite you right now. Just Corey Brown. Hey, what's going on with you, bro? How you doing? Good. Hey, man, how old are you, man? Your voice is kind of deep, man. 12. <laughs> oh, you 12? Uh -huh. Hey, uh -huh. hey, bro, you got the deepest voice of all your friends, huh? <laughs> Come on. <up. laughs> hey, so, hey, man, so how long you been playing football? About five years. Five years. So what you started about seven years old? Uh-huh. Do you remember, you know, your very first day stepping out on the field? Mm-hmm. What was that like for you? Uh, it was it was it was good. I mean, I I didn't really. All right, so I was playing yeah, football. Yeah, break it down to us, but, man. Yeah. <laughs> all right, so I used to I used to quit a lot. Okay. I didn't want to run. Okay. Practice. Mm -hmm. and everything. Mm -hmm. I used to quit. Didn't want to come to practice. Don't want to play. Do none of that. Then. Mm -hmm. Then I just start. Then I just started coming to practice, and then I just start from then. From then, I start taking it serious. Yeah, yeah. I started taking it serious. After mm -hmm. after I, I stop doing, stop stop crying. And, uh -huh. I feel you, bro. Check this out, man. Uh, man, y'all tapped in. Clap it up, LA times. No line, no sign. We up in here chopping this good game. <laughs> Man, you know what? It's nothing wrong with you um, ever quitting. You know what I'm saying? The thing is, we don't want to make a habit of quitting. You know how many times I've been on the football field and been running, you know what I'm saying, doing whatever conditioning they got us doing, and I'm just like, why am I still here? Why am I doing this? See, really, um, what happens, you know what I'm saying, the thing that'll, make, that'll help you, you know what I'm saying, not give up and not quit so much, is when you think about what you're doing it for. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. What do you feel like what do you feel like you're playing football for? Because we gotta go through pain. It sucks. But that's why, like, when you get to the NFL or like the college, you start to see there's guys who work out all year long. Why? Because they don't want to be out of shape again. You know what I'm saying? So like when we when we go from not running and we gotta run again, we gotta get back in shape. So it's hard. We can't breathe. We feel weak. You know what I'm saying? So that's something that, you know, you got to implement in your game, especially as you get older. You just got to work out all year long. That's it. That's all. So when was the first time that you said that, you know, you wouldn't quit anymore? Uh, eight you. Eight you. You said you was eight done you. quitting, huh? Uh huh? Yeah. So what made you determine, you know, what made you make that decision at that point in time? Uh... I just started showing showing people my talent, um, showing out, uh, you know, trash talking, how I talk. He said um, trash talk. Wait, so trash talking is a part of your game? Mm-hmm. Man, why you like to trash talk? Man, what you be saying out there, man? I be like, man, all right, so I feel like nobody can block me. Yeah, nobody. okay. Yeah. Nobody. It's good. It, and you know what? It's good to feel like that. You know what I'm saying? But also, I want you to think, too, um, when we feel like that, if we ever are to take a loss, if somebody was ever able to block you, you know what the best thing to do is? Keep that same energy and go back at them and don't stop going at them until you keep beating them. That's the only way. You know what I'm saying? A lot mm -hmm. of people feel like, you know what I'm saying, they talk trash. A lot of people don't like when you talk trash. They don't like it. 
So when you talk trash, you put a you put a big responsibility on yourself, and you gotta back it up. If you can't back it up, the next best thing is to hold your head up high and keep fighting. Because if you stop fighting, that's when all the trolling come. That's when all the you said this, you said that. So if you know, because me personally, I wasn't I wasn't the trash talker. I was more humble. Like you know what I'm saying. I'm a because I was aware that I would take a loss, and I never wanted to be the guy who was talking crap and then took a loss. You know what I'm saying. I thought something was wrong with that. But if you're going to be that, bro, you got to be that all the way. You know what I'm saying? You got to be that all the way, just like Jalen Ramsey. Jalen Ramsey talk big trash. You know who Jalen Ramsey is, right? Jalen Ramsey. Okay, see, Jalen Ramsey gets beat. But guess what? Jalen Ramsey comes back and competes. You cannot stop competing. You know what I'm saying? If you're going to talk trash, you have to be, uh, you have to be very competitive. And you got to learn. You got you to know how to lose. That's what a lot of people got to understand about life. You have to know how to lose in order to be a real winner. You got to learn, got to know how to lose first. So keep talking your trash, but keep doing your stuff. One thing I'm going to say to you is make sure, like I said earlier, don't stop working out, bro. Like keep working out. What position uh, do you play? And who is an NFL player that you look up to at that same position? Um, I play um, D tackle, right? Right tackle. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. My favorite NFL player D, that played my position is Aaron Donald. He's a beast. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, yes, sir. Yes, sir. You know what? A lot of people compare my game to Aaron Donald. You know what I'm saying? What do you think? Um, there. Okay, so if you have a move, what's your what's your signature move that you like to throw against offensive linemen when you're on the D line? Swim move. Um, okay. Rip. Um, mm-hmm. Bull rushing. Um, pull. Um, Little bit of everything, huh? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I feel that. What, what do you think is the very first move that you learned? Swim move. Swim move. Okay, that was my very first move. And I'm not going to lie to you. Before I learned how to do the swim move, I wasn't a good football player, bro. <laughs> mm-hmm. Once I learned how to do a swim move, it can totally transform my game. Um, So make sure you study in Aaron Donald. You know what I'm saying? Go on YouTube. Look at his highlights. Look at the, look at the, look at the uh, defensive tackle moves that he liked to really throw and make sure you mimic and try to do the same thing. Once again, y'all, just clap it up LA time for no line, no shine. Clap it up LA, y'all. We're up here chopping this good game with the youth. Man, making sure that we pass down good game. Now, what would you say, is this your last year of Pop Warner or you got another year of Pop Warner? Another year. You got one more year. How do you feel about going to high school? Uh, Great, excited, ready to play. Okay, so you ain't nervous at all. Huh? I said, so you're not nervous at all. I was. Because I felt like all the high schoolers were so much bigger and stronger, you know what I'm saying, than me. But when you go to high school, the one thing that you're going to learn is that everybody's the same, bro. Like, it's going to be some people that's strong, some people that's not. So that's good that you're not nervous, you know what I'm saying? Don't be don't be afraid of that at all. Let me ask you something, man. What was What was the most... Tackles or sacks you made in one game? Uh, seven. Seven? You made seven tackles? Oh, you was balling. Clap it up for yourself, man. You was balling out there. Boy, said so he made seven tackles. That's a lot of good tackles, man. Do you? What do you like doing more? Do you like getting tackles or do you like getting sacks more? Uh, really sacks, but you know, people like now everybody like really like to go on shotgun now, so. I really get more tackles than sex. Yeah, you'd rather get your backfield tackles. That's a lot of backfield tackles right there. On everything, that's a lot of backfield tackles. Do you feel like um, – have you ever had a hard-fought game against an opponent? Like, is there a player that you remember, like, man, that dude was pretty good? Um, Number, number 13 from – Man, you broke them. Breaking up, breaking up, breaking up, breaking up, bro. Hello, you there? We might have to come back to it. Because I can't even see you no more. You can hear me, though? Oh, snap. My boy, he got a – we lost service. Watch out. We lost service. I'm going to invite my boy again. Once again, y'all, just clap it up, L.A., no line, no shine. Chopping his game with the youth. I just invited my boy Corey again. 
waiting on Corey to come back in. Send him another invite. You there, bro? Yeah. Okay, cool. All right, so what's your favorite college, man? Uh, Clemson. Clemson. Why you like Clemson, man? You like them because they only uh, won. The, you like them because they won the national championships, man. Uh. -uh. <laughs> uh Good quarterback, good running back, mm -hmm. good offensive line, good receivers, cornerbacks, yeah. D tackles, defense. Yeah, they just got a good overall team, huh? Mm -hmm. That's good. That's good to know. You know that you where 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 are you at? What state are you in? Um, Pomona Beach, Florida. Oh, okay, you out there in Florida. Okay, have you played for? Have you got the chance to play for a national championship? Yeah. How times. was that? Oh, I see Great. a couple times. Inside yeah. Him. Okay, cool. Now, now, what's some goals that you set for yourself before every season? What would you like to see yourself do this year? Uh, dominate. Um, do better in school. Um, mm -hmm. be a leader. Um, good sportsmanship. Um. Make friends, be cool. Yeah. yeah. Understood. Now, speaking of school, that's very important that you said that because, you know, one thing that everybody got to understand is we can't school go nowhere first. if we don't get it right at school. We can't go nowhere. You know what I'm saying? No matter how great of a football player you are, man, it's college coaches. They'll leave your scholarship and give it to somebody else if you're not doing good at school. So that's very, very great that you said that, bro. And I want you to – continue to think that way what do you think it is that makes somebody a leader but not only just a leader but a great leader what do you think a, a, a leader should should uh should do um work hard um um outwork outwork the man in front of you always um Dad. help out um, be accountable. Mm -hmm. um, that's 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 really good, and I want you to make sure you understand being accountable is probably the most important thing. You know what I'm saying? And and what I mean when I say being accountable, especially when you're talking about going to school, you got to be accountable for you and your grades. You know what I'm saying? You got to be accountable for keeping yourself in shape. You got to be accountable for keeping your team in the right manner. You know what I'm saying? So. Being a leader comes with a lot, but you can definitely do that because that's what you want to do. So all you got to do is work at it. You hear me, bro? And shout out to moms, man. Moms is shouting you out up in here. She said, that's right, son. School number one. That's uh -huh. right. Now, I got to ask you one thing. Um, what does no line, no shine mean to you, bro? Um, Like, like so you know, the line and D-line, those, those are the biggest – that's the biggest – Thing of football right there, without no line, right. you can't running back can't 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 um run the ball, can't get make plays, can't do nothing um, at all. You can't do nothing. You can't do nothing without the line. You can't do nothing without the line, and that's very important to understand, man. Without y'all, the game can't be played without y'all, bro. So you know what I'm saying. You make sure you keep doing everything you got to do to be a leader, bro. You can get wherever you want to get to as long as you are willing to put the work in and understand it's going to be tough. You are going to have moments where you want to quit, but as long as you don't quit, you can have whatever you want. Clap it up for yourself, bro. All right, y'all. We're going to end this live with my boy, Corey. Man, anything else you want to say before we step out of here? Um, no, nah, not really. But um, thanks. Thanks to all of you guys watching um, live and coming and showing love and stuff. Yep. Yep, one once again, it's Clap It Up LA with no line, no shine. I'm about to get on with the next person. All right now, Corey, man, nice to meet you. Good luck to you, bro. Nice to meet you. Thank you. All right now.